Welcome to this short video on building master detail pages with Oracle Apex. So I have this application and as you can see I have projects, I have milestones which are child of children of projects and then I have tasks which are children of both projects and milestones. So what I want to do is I want to create a master detail page. So I'm just going to go back into the application and I'm going to create a page. And I'm going to select master detail. I'm just going to use the stacked and I'm going to call this projects MD for master detail. And I want a new navigation menu entry. And then I just need to put in the title for the master. Select my table, which will be projects. Use the row IDs, great. And then for my child, I'm going to select milestones and go off and select the table there. You'll see that my list of tables is limited to only my child tables. And then I just need to select the relationship and I can create this. So let's first off just run this page and see what it looks like. So here we have the projects and the milestones. As I select different projects, it brings up the milestone. Now what I'd like to do is go and add, add in the task. So let's go and edit this page. And I'm just going to go down here and select Interactive Grid. Drag it up underneath milestones here. I'll call it Tasks. And then I need to select my table. So it'll be my project task table. And now the important thing I need to do here is go and select my master detail read, which I'm going to select milestones. And then the second thing I need to do is I need to link in the columns. So I'm going to select the project ID. And then underneath here, I can actually select the master column, which will be the columns out of the milestones table. So it's going to be the project ID in that milestones table. And then for the milestone ID, similarly, I need to go and select the milestone ID out of that milestone table, save that, and now let's run it. Okay, so now if I select one of these, you'll see that it's bringing up the, the milestone and then the tasks associated with that milestone. As I change milestones, you'll see that it's changing the tasks associated with that. Now I could spend a little bit of time and hide out all those values. So let me go and do that. And I'm just going to hide all of the order columns in all three of these. Make it look a lot better. In fact, I'll hide the IDs while I'm at it. And finally, for the projects, do the same thing. Just hide those, and let's see where we're at. Now, the status is a bit of a problem. Let me very quickly go and change that one as well. Uh, instead of it being a number field, I actually want it as a select list, and then I believe I've got a shared component I can use for that already. There it is. So let me just run the page now. And now we've got a project that we can select. We can do updates on that, etc. If I select one of these with child records, then initially the children are coming up for me. And that's how quickly and easily you can build master detail relationships without doing significant coding using Oracle Apex. Thank you very much.